Peter wants to invest in the best AI ETFs that he can hold and sell when he retires, but he's a bit lost on where to start. In today's video, we're going to guide Peter through the top 9 AI ETFs to buy and hold until retirement, using Warren Buffett's investment principles. Now, if you're new to ETFs, an ETF or an exchange traded fund is like a basket of stocks or bonds that trades on the stock market, just like individual stocks do. These funds can either mimic a specific index or focus on a particular sector. Here's the thing. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy is all about buying and holding high-quality, undervalued companies with strong growth potential for the long term. Although Buffett hasn't explicitly endorsed AI ETFs, his principles of investing in the long-term growth industries align perfectly with the burgeoning field of artificial intelligence, which I'll explain here in just a second. Well, as most of you might already know, artificial intelligence is already making headlines, transforming industries and creating new market opportunities. From healthcare to finance, AI is becoming indispensable, making it a prime candidate for long-term investment. In fact, AI has huge growth potential, with estimates suggesting that it could contribute up to $15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030. By investing in AI ETFs, Peter isn't just betting on a single company, but on the future of the entire industry. And let's dive into it. First up, we have the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF with ticker symbol BOTZ. First up, we have the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF with ticker symbol BOTZ. This ETF focuses on companies involved in the development and application of robotics and AI technologies. It seeks to invest in firms that benefit from the increased adoption and use of AI. Key companies in BOTZ include NVIDIA, ABB LTD, and Initiative Surgical. These firms are at the forefront of AI and robotics innovation, spanning sectors from semiconductor production to advanced medical equipment. Now, BOTZ is trading at $34.50. It has shown a year-to-date return of 28%, a 1-year return of 32%, a 5-year return of 14%, and a 10-year return of 18%. These figures reflect the ETF's robust performance over various time frames. BOTZ has an expense ratio of 0.68%. While this might seem high compared to broader market ETFs, it is relatively standard for sector-specific funds, especially those in high-growth areas like AI and robotics. Here's one thing to note. Although Warren Buffett traditionally invests in more established industries, the principles of focusing on high-quality businesses apply here. BOTZ aligns with Buffett's strategy by targeting innovative companies with significant growth potential in the rapidly evolving AI sector. Next, we have the iShares Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF with ticker symbol IRBO. What this ETF does is tracks the investment results of an index composed of developed and emerging market companies that could benefit from the long-term growth in robotics and AI. The strategy here is to provide diversified exposure to companies that are poised to drive or benefit from the growth of robotics and AI, spanning industries like manufacturing, automation, and technology. IRBO's portfolio includes key companies such as NVIDIA, which specializes in GPUs and AI technology, and Intuitive Surgical, which is a leader in robotics-assisted surgical systems. This ETF is sector diverse with all sides of technology, industrials, and healthcare, ensuring Peter's investments are spread across multiple high growth areas. Currently, IRBO is trading at $35.78. Its year to date return stands at 25%, with a one year return of 30%. Over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 15%. And the projected 10-year return aligns similarly with other high-growth tech funds. The expense ratio for IRBO is 0.47%, which is quite competitive within the specialized tech ETF space. This provides a good balance between cost and exposure to high-growth sectors. Here's the thing. From Warren Buffett's perspective, while IRBO may not represent the traditional value stocks he prefers, it does embody his principle of long-term value investing. 
The reality is that IRBO aligns with Buffett's approach of capitalizing on the future market leaders by focusing on companies that are taking innovation to the next level. Another great choice Peter could make is the ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF with ticker symbol ARKQ. Let me explain. ARKQ focuses on companies that are expected to benefit from the development of new products or services that are suited for the advancement of scientific research related to autonomous technology. One of the best things about this ETF is that it captures the leaders in autonomous vehicles, robotics, automation, 3D printing, and energy storage. ARKQ's top holdings include Tesla, the pioneer in electric vehicles and autonomous driving technology, and Trimble, a leader in GPS technology and advanced location-based solutions. The ETF is heavily weighted in technology and industrials, which are important for the advancement of autonomous technologies. ARKQ is currently trading at $61.90. It has delivered a year-to-date return of 22%, a one-year return of 29%, a five-year return of 16%, and projections indicate strong 10-year returns in line with its past performance. The expense ratio for ARKQ is 0.75%, which is, while higher than some broader ETFs, reflects its active management approach and focus on high-growth sectors. Warren Buffett's principles can be seen here in ARKQ's focus on industry leaders and innovators with the potential for significant growth. Although Buffett typically shies away from high expense ratios, the growth potential and innovative focus of ARKQ align with his strategy of investing in companies with an economic moat. For Peter, buying and holding ARKQ will offer a great deal in maximizing returns in the burgeoning field of autonomous technology. Peter's next consideration that could turn out great is the First Trust NASDAQ Artificial Intelligence and Robotics ETF, with ticker symbol ROBT. Let me explain. ROBT tracks the performance of the NASDAQ CTA Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Index, which includes companies focused on AI, robotics, and automation technologies. This ETF is a great choice because it targets businesses that are developing AI and robotics technology in the most unique ways. The key holdings of ROBT include tech giants like Microsoft, which is heavily investing in AI research and development, and ABB LTD, a leader in robotics and automation solutions. This ETF sector allocation is diverse, encompassing technology, industrials, and healthcare which helps spread risk while tapping into multiple high-growth areas. As of the latest data, ROBT is trading at $43.50. The year-to-date return is 20%, with a one-year return of 28%. And over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 14%. Plus, its projected 10-year returns are similarly robust. The expense ratio for ROBT is 0.65%, which is relatively high, but reflects its focus on cutting-edge technology companies. See, from Warren Buffett's perspective, ROBT may seem atypical due to its focus on newer technologies and a higher expense ratio. However, its strategy of investing in companies at the forefront of AI aligns with Buffett's principles of management quality. The focus on strong, capable leaders in these firms ensures that ROBT is making strategic choices about its holdings. Another strong contender for Peter is the ROBO Global Robotics and Automation Index ETF with ticker symbol ROBO. You see, ROBO provides exposure to companies across the globe that are involved in automation and AI. And the best part? This ETF includes firms that are driving industrial automation which makes it a key player in the future of AI and robotics. ROBO's portfolio features companies such as Fanuc, a leading manufacturer of robotics, and Intuitive Surgical, known for its innovative robotic surgical systems. This ETF spans several sectors, including technology, healthcare, and industrials, offering Peter a well-rounded exposure which is great for diversification. Currently, ROBO is trading at $60.12. It has delivered a year-to-date return of 21%, a one-year return of 27%, and over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 
Projections for a 10-year return indicate a strong performance trend continuing. The expense ratio for ROBO is 0.95%, which is on the higher side, but justified by its specialized focus and global reach. In terms of Warren Buffett's principles, ROBO's high expense ratio might be a sticking point, but in reality, its focus on industry leaders, along with its potential for significant long-term growth, aligns with Buffett's approach to investing in companies with predictable earnings. For Peter, ROBO offers a strategic investment in a sector poised for extensive future growth, given its position in the market. Peter's next option is the Wisdom Tree Artificial Intelligence and Innovation Fund, with ticker symbol WTAI. What this ETF does is tracks the price and yield performance of the Wisdom Tree Artificial Intelligence and Innovation Index, which focuses on companies that are expected to benefit from the development of AI. WTAI's key holdings make up companies like Alphabet, which is heavily investing in AI across various domains, and NVIDIA, which you already know is a leader in AI. As of now, WTAI is trading at $29.75. The year-to-date return is 24%, with a one-year return of 31%. Over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 16% and projections for the next decade indicate continued strong performance. The expense ratio for WTAI is 0.45%, which is also relatively low for a specialized tech ETF, making it an attractive option in terms of cost. WTAI's focus on industry leaders driving significant innovation make it a solid choice. And if we're looking at Warren Buffett's philosophy, the relatively low expense ratio combined with the potential for substantial long-term growth aligns well with Buffett's strategy. He loves to invest in companies with strong cash flow generation. For Peter, WTAI offers a balanced approach to investing in the future of AI. Next up, Peter might consider the iShares Exponential Technologies ETF with ticker symbol XT. Now let me explain why this ETF is important. XT aims to track the investment results of an index composed of global companies that drive exponential growth through state-of-the-art tech. But here's what's truly interesting. XT's portfolio is made up of companies like Tesla and Amazon. The ETF spans several sectors, including technology, healthcare, and consumer discretionary, providing diversified exposure to exponential technologies. XT is trading at $63.25 right now. The year-to-date return is 21%, with a one-year return of 28%. Over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 16%, and projections for the next decade indicate continued strong performance. The expense ratio for XT is 0.47%, which is relatively low for a specialized tech ETF, making it an attractive option if we're thinking about cost. For Peter, XT is a great choice because Buffett says we should look out for reasonably valued stocks with a strong aptitude. Lastly, Peter might consider the Fidelity MSCI Information Technology Index ETF with ticker symbol FTEC. This ETF tracks investment returns that correspond to the performance of MSCI USA IMI Information Technology Index. Now, FTEC's portfolio includes companies like Apple and Microsoft, which are both great players and leaders in the AI sector. The ETF is heavily weighted in the technology sector, providing focused exposure to high-growth IT companies. As of now, FTEC is trading at $112.35. The year-to-date return is 22%, with a one-year return of 28%. Over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 18%, and projections for the next decade indicate continued strong performance. The expense ratio for FTEC is 0.08%, which is exceptionally low, making it a cost-effective option for tech-focused investments. In reality, FTEC's exceptionally low expense ratio, combined with the potential for substantial long-term growth, aligns well with Buffett's strategy of investing in companies with strong cash flow generation, which makes it a superb investment for Peter. And here's the ETF you've been waiting for, the SPDR S&P Kensho Intelligence Structures ETF with ticker symbol XKII. 
The best thing about it is that it tracks the performance of the S&P Kinsho Intelligent Structures Index, which includes companies involved in the development of intelligent infrastructure, such as smart buildings and smart homes. It's much like AI with a touch of real estate. Let me explain how it works. Now, XKII's key holdings include companies like Johnson Controls, a leader in smart building solutions, and Schneider Electric, known for its energy management and automation solutions. The ETF covers sectors such as technology, industrials, and real estate, providing diversified exposure to the intelligent infrastructure industry. Currently, XKII is trading at $37.90. The year-to-date return is 19%, with a one-year return of 26%. Over the past five years, it has achieved an annual return of 15%, and projections for the next decade indicate continued strong performance. The expense ratio for XKII is 0.45%, which is competitive for a specialized ETF. Looking at Warren Buffett's standpoint, XKII's focus on intelligent infrastructure aligns with his principles of capital efficiency. The thing is, AI is pretty new, and the fact that it's already feasible in real estate makes the combination unique and likely to be huge in the coming years. To wrap things up, the thing to remember is that each ETF offers unique exposure to different aspects of AI and related technologies, aligning with Warren Buffett's investment principles of value investing. If Peter buys and holds the options we just talked about, he can build a great portfolio poised for substantial future growth, which could earn him millions before retirement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.